how would you say the ceasefire is doing so far? I think the most important thing is that the ceasefire has started. I think that's great. Sure, that's the most important thing. What about the violations in Mariupol and here at the airport? How serious are they? It is so that uh, and we have to realize that in, in all ceasefires in the history, it'll take some time for before when they have signed, it filter through all the system, how to deal with it and down through this uh, or those very uh, complex structures. So that there will be some violence here and, uh, and there. That's a natural thing, and, but I don't think uh, it should in any way have any impact on the ceasefire as such. I think it's, it's, it's now, and uh, I'm very happy for it, that for sure. There was one ceasefire that was called for before and it, it didn't happen. Are you confident that the ceasefire will last and, and why? What's different this time around? I don't know to the, the former ceasefires, but uh, it, it seems to me that uh, I have the feeling this, this will, will work. If I compare what happened just a week ago during the day and night time with all that shelling and then now it's two different worlds and I'm quite sure people on both sides are very grateful for that. Why do you think it will work? Is it a sense that just everybody wants to make wants okay. it to work? I think everybody wants it to work. At least I know the people want it to work and I think that's very, very important. When you say the people, you're talking about people on both sides. Of course people on both sides. We have uh, from OSA people on both sides. So when I'm talking it's on both sides. There's mothers and fathers on both sides who have sons who have been into this uh, fight. And I'm sure they are happy, very happy that uh, I know that one of the conditions of the agreement is that the OCE will oversee the implementation of the ceasefire. What do you do? I mean, what does this mean, overseeing the implementation? There's a working group working on that, so I think we should let this uh, working group decide how, how to do it. Okay. Um, what, what happens next? Now we have the ceasefire. I guess there will be some negotiation to find a, a solution, both parts will like so, uh, but most important for me here, right now, let's take one step at a time, is that there is a ceasefire, and I'm quite confident that it will, it will work. Our mission on both sides is to be here and to monitor the, the uh, development, what's, what's happening to look at human rights, and then report back to the 57 member states. In those member states, we can include both uh, uh, Ukraine and Russia and the US and most European countries. It's a huge, huge uh, organization going from the west coast of Canada to Australia. You've been monitoring the situation. <coughs> any thoughts, any, any observations? Only that uh, people on both sides want to have peace. And uh, finally, it seems that it has started. I st still think that must be a very, very long way. But this is the beginning of something good.